From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Friday's top stories. While police in the capital investigate another murder, health officials are taking a look at an increase in the number of coronavirus cases in Abaco, and they recommended some changes to the competent authority. Prime Minister Menace is acting on that. The medical team has already mobilized and made all the necessary adjustments. And their recommendation is that um, at this particular point in time, we should place Abaco. Abaco's curfew should be readjusted from 8 p.m. to 5 a.m. And we intend to make that adjustment on Sunday. We feel that with two weeks of this strict type protocol, we would be able to control Abaco and prevent it from spreading. There are travel restrictions also, increasing numbers of infections, especially in the March Harbor and North Abaco areas. Of the 11 cases reported for the country on Wednesday, six of them are from Abaco, four in Grand Bahama, one in the capital. Health officials reporting 14 persons remain in hospital, only one in the ICU. Among those Abaco cases, former Prime Minister Ingram, he remains in hospital, but it's doctors to say he is recovering. Six former children's emergency hostel care workers now facing charges in connection with that beating incident revealed on social media recently. They were arraigned in court yesterday. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Police stay busy on the crime front. Another man found dead yesterday here in the Capitol. The fifth murder reported since Sunday, the 21st for the year already. Police have not released an ID, but relatives say he's Anton Presenti, believed to be in his 20s. He was shot multiple times. Police say they're following what they're calling promising leads in their investigation into that incident. There's politics in the news. The FNM approving five more candidates last night, including former health minister Dr. Dwayne Sands. He goes back in Elizabeth. Others getting the nod. Carlton Boleg in North Andros. Quasi Thompson moves to East Grand Bahama. Bandia Stewart in South Abaco. Courtney Coulibay in Centerville. Confirmation Senator Lisa Bosbrick Dean will not run in the next elections for personal reasons. The world reports that she would replace former cabinet minister Lanisha Roll who Prime Minister Minnis says is not under direct investigation in Seabreeze. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No systems in the area, mostly sunny. Highs from the low to mid-80s, 81 at Freeport, 82 in the capital, 83 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories. Winds generally 10 to 15 knots. The seas 2 to 4 feet. High tide now. The next lower on 2 this afternoon. Clear skies tonight. Lows from the low to mid-70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. They offer a wide range of insurance products. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. Let's get the weekend started. The weekend, published every Friday in the Tribune, has the hottest news in fashion, music tips, the who's who on the red carpet, your must-try restaurants and hotspots, and of course, what to wear when you step out. Catch up on the latest film reviews or be thrilled with exciting tales from Bahamian history. There's only one place to find everything you need to plan your perfect weekend in Friday's Tribune. Pick up your copy of the weekend every Friday. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Friday's World News headlines the coronavirus numbers around the world continue to come down, but people are still dying. The U.S. death toll now approaching 510,000. Brazil's death toll has now passed 250,000. And that country is averaging 1,000 deaths per day for the past five weeks. Meantime, the vaccine rollout continues around the world, and Britain's Queen Elizabeth is among those urging persons to take the shot. She says, don't be selfish. No changes in the situation in Myanmar. The military continues to hold on to power there despite days of demonstrations. And they're now increasing pressure on demonstrators firing warning shots to disperse a gathering yesterday. Tribune's gas striker prices heading into the weekend. Shell 452, SO 439, Rubus $4.39 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. The bad news continues for Buddy Heal and the Sacramento Kings in the NBA. They lost again last night in New York, and they're now 12-21 and on the season. 
He had not just nine points in that game. The Tribune Sports has coverage of that and the rest of the NBA. They continue to watch the Tiger Woods story. He's recovering from his injuries. Too early to tell what the impact will be. There's a cricket update in the Tribune Sports and some international tennis news also. Read about it in the Tribune Sports Friday. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online all day, all weekend at Tribune242.com.